Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuits. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. Don't you have his papers, please, comrade? Hmm, good question. Very much so. We shall answer it, da. So, one thing I've got to say about this is that the logo is dancing at me in an oppressive fashion. And you know what? I'm not entirely okay with that. That's not the kind of come hither, we're going to have a friendly good time kind of dance. That's the we're going to stomp on your face with das boot kind of dance. Not comfortable with that. Secondly, this is not in fact the reincarnation of Paperboy that so many of you have been clamoring for over the last 10 or so years. This is a game about stamping passports and controlling the border. It is created by a fellow by the name of Lucas Pope. He's made a couple of games before, most of them being freeware titles. One of them I do remember was a game about creating the front page of a newspaper every day and trying to keep the government censors happy while simultaneously trying to help the revolution. It was a really cool concept. I actually enjoyed it an awful lot. Papers, Please takes the similar kind of idea and turns it into a game about border control. It's very interesting. I'm going to show you why that is. Currently, the game is in beta, and you yourself can download it for free. I have no idea if this game is going to remain free, but one way or the other, it's worth your attention. So I'm going to continue on day six, because if I start from the start, it is going to be little more than a tutorial, which is not that good. They do kind of drag things out. They introduce concepts to you one at a time, which is fairly important to do. Now, I might add, this is a game about observation. It is a game about paying attention. And as a result, doing live commentary is probably going to make that very difficult. But we like a challenge. So let us go do a little bit of papers, please. Now, before you say anything, yes, this game has already been done on Jesse's channel as well as Northern Lion. Bunch of others managed to get to this before me. And I think it's cool that I'm doing this because you guys should pay attention to this. This is a really cool new concept. So, the truth of our Stodzger. There are fewer jobs. So, this is actually all relevant. This is not just here for no reason. We're going to find out why. Everything that appears on this news article is relevant to your next day of work. So let's walk to work and let's control some borders. Now, already you can see the graphic style is very basic. It's actually very much in the style of early 90s PC strategy games. And I actually approve of that greatly. We don't get enough of that. Okay, so we haven't opened up yet. So this gives me a good amount of time to explain to you what exactly is going on. As soon as I click this button, the timer is going to start. That's the clock down at the bottom there. You work until 6 o'clock in the evening. Anything you do after 6 o'clock, you don't get paid for. So it's kind of pointless. You need to try and make sure that everything's done before then. So what do you have? Well, you've got a line of people desperately waiting to get into your wonderful country of Arstotska. Now, you are given instructions every day based on the kind of people you should be letting in, and those sort of stack up after a while. So in this case, the Ministry of Labor has instituted a special program to control immigrant labor. Travelers entering for work require a valid work pass, so I need to pay attention to what these immigrants are saying. Everyone at the border, if they're entering for work, they need to have a valid work pass. No doubt some people will try and get passed without it. And this is, of course, the news article. This, interestingly enough, was actually based on something I did yesterday in the game, which is pretty cool. If I hadn't done that, then no doubt the news would be a little bit different. The point of this game is to earn enough money to feed your family. If you don't earn enough money, i.e. you don't stamp enough passports, then you are going to be in trouble. Your family's actually going to start to get cold. They're going to get hungry. They're actually going to die, which is grim as hell, by the way. All right, so how do you do it? Well, this thing right here allows you to stamp the passports. In fact, this work area here is very important. You can move everything around in it, and it's kind of difficult to get rid of everything. Once it's on your desk, it stays on your desk. Alternatively, you can sort of dump it here. This stuff can slot in here quite nicely, but documents that are coming in from, say, the immigrants, the people that are trying to get into the country, they have to be dealt with on this work area. And you then have to maneuver things around so you can actually stamp things kind of like that. There we go. So you can either approve or deny them. And you've got to determine this based on how valid their entrance actually is. Before we go into this, because once I start this, I'm going to have to be pretty focused on it because you do have a limited time. You have a set of rules. Now, what you can do is you can identify discrepancies by pointing to various rules. So let's say the basic rules. This is the current rules right now. This rule book is continuing to get bigger the further you go into the game. So an entrant has to have a passport. If you don't have a passport, then you can link up a discrepancy with this rule and say, oh, why do you have a passport? You can interrogate them. You can then detain them if necessary. Foreigners need an entry permit. Now, it used to be an entry ticket. Now it's an entry permit. So if any of these guys present me with an entry ticket, then I've got to deny them on that basis. 
You've got to have an ID card if you're a citizen. You've got to have current documents, and you must have a work pass, as you can see right there. So th those are the current rules. You also have a regional map. This is actually useful, and this is the kind of thing you need to learn. I've been tripped up by this multiple times. One of the most difficult things to identify in this game is the issuing city. So let's just say they were coming in from Republia. There are three issuing cities, True Glorian, Les, Les Renade, and Bostan. If it says it's coming from Republia, and yet it's not from th one of those three issuing cities, then it is an invalid passport. Not so good. It's actually kind of difficult to pay attention to that. There are also valid document seals as well. So this is the kind of thing you need to look at. There's a huge amount of stuff that you have to pay attention to. And if you make mistakes, you get two warnings, and then you start to get docked pay. So you've got to be very careful. There is an additional element, and we might talk about that if we run into it. So, I think we know what we need to do for our work day. We need to watch out for the work passes. That's going to be the difficult thing today. We've got to watch out for the issuing cities, make sure everything's the way that it should be. And remember that foreigners require an entry permit as well as a work pass if they are working. An ID card is required for citizens, and the entrant must have a passport, regardless of who they happen to be. So, pop that away in the slot, and let's open up. So, the clock is now running, so we have to deal with this fellow. I'd say fellow, that's unfair. All right, so, work pass seems valid, as far as I can tell. So, she's going to be working, she's going to be staying for a few weeks. That's okay, she can stay until 1983, it's currently 1982, that's good. Date of birth is looking fine, expiry date is okay as well. She looks like the same person, check the date here. Yeah, this all looks valid, so I'm going to approve this, and then I need to give her all her documents back, and off she goes. All right, now we'll call it for the second one. Good, I didn't get a citation there, so I obviously got that one right, but there is a lot to consider. There could have been all sorts of different things wrong with that. All right, so entering to work under food service. That's looking good. Remaining for six months. Yep, that's actually fine as well. This I don't care about. She's trying to distract me. So, date of birth looks... that looks fine. She looks a little bit different, I've got to say. So, I'm not too keen on that. So, I'm going to try and identify a discrepancy here. So, I don't think she looks the same. But apparently the game thinks she does, so I guess that's fine. And I think everything looks above board, really, there, as far as I can tell. Aside from I'm not entirely sure if the issuing city is right. But there we go, I'm going to send her through. Okay, ah, interesting. Ah, now this happens every now and again. So I've let her through. However, she has given me a note to help somebody else. And I can do that. It is possible to let people through that do not have the right papers. And this is an interesting moral distinction that actually ends up happening here. All right, so I'm going to try and keep this out of the way for the time being. All right, immigration. All right, immigrating forever. That's fine. Let's check everything. So, Emily Souza, everything looks fine there, and yeah, I mean, that seems to be okay from what I can tell. I don't really see a problem with that. All right, going to approve it and let her in. Off you go. So, let's bring up the next one. Oh, apparently there was something wrong with that. Invalid expiration date. Oh, ah, that was an easy one to miss. A lot of this stuff is pretty easy to miss, honestly. All right, transit. Okay, two-day transit, that's absolutely fine. Entry date is looking good. Let's check that this matches up. Yep, yep. Date of birth looks all right. Hair looks a little bit different, but not by enough to warrant actually doing anything there. So I guess we looks like we'll let you in there. That seems fine. All right, off you go. Don't screw anything up. And we'll let the next one in. So this is how it goes. You are on a timer. The more you let through, the more money you make. So that's pretty important. This guy, no doubt, yeah. This guy keeps coming back. He came up with a fake passport last time. This looks like the right passport. However, in the rule book, it very clearly states that foreigners require an entry permit. So I'm going to point that out there. There's the discrepancy, and now I can interrogate him about it. You don't have an entry permit. Yep. No, seriously. You don't have an entry permit. So, I am going to be denying him. Off you go. Nope, you need an entry permit. You're not allowed in. Eventually, 
eventually he might actually have the right stuff but he's been here like five times now he's pretty comedic the last time he came with us with a passport written in crayon it was quite funny all right okay well this is a problem you do not have an entry permit so i'm afraid we can't be letting you in anytime soon so i'm going to interrogate her on that i could let her in that's the thing. I could let her in if I so desire. Oh, it's okay. She had one anyway. She just forgot about it. That's the sneaky thing about it as well. Occasionally they do that. But let's check. Let's make sure this is okay. Passport numbers match up. She looks good in her face there. That's fine. Everything seems reasonable. Yeah, that seems fine. Off you go. There we go. That should be totally fine. Let's hope that I didn't miss something here. Again, I keep missing the entrance cities, the issuing cities, because it's really hard to remember all that stuff. So every I just I think actually at that point it just becomes easier to just skip through. Okay, so he's a citizen. He can just give me an ID card. Doesn't look like he's coming to work here. Doesn't really matter anyway because he's not an immigrant. Let's make sure that everything matches up. He has the right height and weight as far as I can tell. Modesto district date of birth matches up. Yep, I see no reason to deny him, so we're going to let him through here as well. After we've done this, I'm going to discuss some more interesting concepts, because honestly, it's very, very hard to discuss them while trying to focus on all of this stuff. But there's some really cool stuff this game does that is not immediately apparent based on its mechanics. So, what is the purpose of your trip? Transit through the country. What is your duration of stay, sir? A couple of weeks. You know, I think it's, it's really odd that I'm actually doing this particular game because I'm a person that has had problems with border control in the past. This, and actually that that affects my response to a lot of it as well. So he seemed fine from what I can tell. Yeah, he's good. Cool. So we're actually getting quite a few people through the gate today. Got a few more hours to kill. So hopefully I'll be able to make some decent money. Purpose of the trip is visiting relatives. What's your duration of your stay? That's for three months. That's fine. You, your entry date is fine. Your passport number matches up. You look about the same. You, Sarah Paulson. Yeah, looks fine. Off you go. Here's hoping that I didn't get the issuing city wrong. Nope. We're cool. Excellent. We're having a good day today in the glorious Republic of Aristoshka or whatever the balls you call it. Purpose of your trip is emigration. Enter by... Hmm, that's pretty close, but she's okay. Republia, True Glorian, I remember that. Oh, looks like... Huh? Oh, no, there's a terrorist. <laughs> well, that sucks. Did I let him through? Because that's awful if I did that. It really, really is. Well, we're in trouble, aren't we? As you can see, I don't have a lot of money. My mother-in-law is cold and hungry. My son is sick. I just had to pay for medicine. I have no money whatsoever. This sucks. I've also been collecting these badges. Now, this is a good time to talk about the cool things that this game does in terms of a narrative standpoint, linking it to the mechanics. So, the idea is that, obviously, you're a border control agent. You are press-ganged into it against your will. You're conscripted. And your family is reliant on you doing a good job. The more people you let through, the better it is. Yeah? So, I let nine people through today, legitimately. However, you get penalties if you make too many mistakes. So, you can't just be really, really quick about it. It's about balancing how careful you are with how much money you're going to make. Because you've got to look after your family. You've got to make sure that everything's fine there. And I'm not doing a good job. After six days, my entire family is cold and hungry and my son is sick. This is really bad. I am a dreadful human being. A dreadful father, indeed. So... There is, however, this really interesting element of human drama. The idea that people will beg to be let through. And if you let through the right people, you get awarded these badges. I'm not really sure what these mean, honestly. I got two of these from people that clearly didn't have the right paperwork, but made a very convincing argument and pleaded with me. And let them through. And I got penalized for that, but I received some kind of award in that regard. And it's really interesting because you're balancing your own problems with the problems of these virtual video game people. And it's actually a very dreary scenario. In fact, everything ties together to make it look very dystopian indeed. It's a very depressing game, even though it's actually very fun to play. The graphic style is hideous. Deliberately so. There's two reasons why the graphic style is the way that it is. The first reason is that, from a mechanical perspective, it makes it easier for you to tell what a fake picture is and what it isn't. The more complicated you make the graphic style, the more difficult it is to actually make that distinction in a hurry. 
Secondly, it's there because the game is supposed to feel and look dreary and look oppressive, and it does. It, there's a lot of greys, there's a lot of washed out colours, there's nothing beautiful in this game, deliberately so, and I think that's actually genius, it really is. Not only that, of course, but it's easy to make a game that's ugly like that, so in this case, I think it makes sense to have this kind of graphic style. Alright, let's go to sleep, everything's going horribly wrong, there was a terrorist attack, that probably means that we are going to be in a oh wow that sucks i just let these girls through and now they've been murdered this is horrible this game is horrible so there was a terrorist attack yesterday that's probably going to affect the rule set today so let's go on through most likely they've tightened up the border as a direct result of that yeah they've put a couple more guards in place so this is going to be a little bit more restrictive i'm going to have to be a lot more careful all right looks like they've installed a scanner okay to facilitate more thorough inspections a search scanner system has been installed in your booth collection extremists are suspected in yesterday's bombings search all collections before approving their entry okay so that's the only thing you really need to do aside from the usual stuff all right okay let's rock and roll let's see if we can make this work so watch out for collections keep an eye out for them you have a very silly hat. Remember the rule set from yesterday? Visiting. All right. Stay for a few weeks. One month. That's fine. Everything looks good there. Everything. Oh, your collection. Can't let you through. All right. I'm going to bring up the rule book here and I will show the discrepancies. Collections must be searched. Okay. What is the search button, actually? Maybe I'll point to her. So there is... One of the issues that I've got with the game... Ah, there we go. That's it. It can sometimes be a little bit unclear as to what you have to do in order to correlate. There we go. You're being selected for a random search. Face the scanner, please. Put the rule book back in there. All right. So we're going to scan her. This is actually taking a lot of time as well, which is extremely annoying. And wow, that's what I wanted to see in my game, certainly. A uh, naked old woman, but that's what we're getting. Uh, well... I wouldn't say you look fine, but yeah, I'm going to let you through. That sounds reasonable. I suppose this is very much a message that the game... It's, the game is trying to make a point to some degree, so... It is depressing, and it's, I am violating the privacy of people trying to get into my country just because of the actions of a few. That, that says a lot, doesn't it? You plan to work. All right, well, I'm afraid I can't let you do that because you don't actually have a work permit. That doesn't seem like a good idea at all. So let's highlight the discrepancies here. You don't have a work pass. There we go. So we'll interrogate you about that. The work pass is missing. I'll get one after I enter. No, you bloody well will not, I'm afraid. I'm not letting you through today. There are, there are people who are more worthy of it. Off you go. Obviously, I get paid for that, but I get a warning for it. I want to try and save those warnings to be able to let through someone who actually deserves it. Yes, I'm being a moral crusader here on the border. That's The game encourages you to do that, but also balance it with the needs of your family, which is a very cool piece of narrative. All right, so your transit. All right, the number matches up. Your expiry date's looking pretty good as well. Your entry date's looking fine as well. You're from the United Federation, and your name matches up. So off you go. Very much a procedural game. I think if you if you follow if you figure out a particular procedure and you follow it in order, then that's the best way to actually play this game properly. You do have to pay a lot of attention. And the game is surprisingly fun. Putting it on a time frame is very, very smart indeed. All right, so she's from this country. Expiry date is looking pretty good. Date of birth actually matches up here. She is the same weight. However, as you can see, there is a discrepancy. She actually is not male. So there was something going on there. <laughs> uh, I could search her. Well, that's one way to find out. <laughs> God, that's awful. All right, let's figure out if she's male or female, shall we, by scanning her. That's... God, this game is horrendous. Actually male. All right. Good. Yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to see on YouTube. Thank you very much. Well, I guess you're going through then. Congratulations, and let's never see the picture again. Hopefully that gets shredded. All right, next one. I could have just denied her straight away, but I had the option to search her. It took up more time, though, but I was able to get a successful clearance there, so that's good. All right, Weber Mohammed is from Aristoka. That's fine. Issuing city of East Gretton. Weight looks fine, and the numbers are good. So here you go. Off you go. Thank you very much. Glory to Aristotska. Oh, invalid. Invalid height? Seri oh, that is just cruel. Come on. Invalid hat. He just grew a bit. He grew a bit. It's fine. 
Purpose of the trip is transit. He is staying for 14 days. That's absolutely fine. Entry date's looking good there as well. Passport number is right, as is his name. So, unless... Oh, it's Kelechian. Uh-uh. Almost, almost happened. You are from Kelechia. And... Oh, yeah. I need to bring the rule book up for that. As I say, gotta follow those procedures. The procedures are clunky, and I honestly have a feeling that that's deliberately the case. It's designed in such a way to make it more difficult. All right, more scanning. So let's see. Maybe he's a terrorist. Who knows? Let's find out. If he is, we should detain him, and hopefully he won't blow up the checkpoint today. Okay. Oh, hell, what is that? What is that? He has something strapped to him. Uh, now the question is, how do I actually make this happen? I want to detain this guy. How do I do it? Because that he clearly has something strapped to the back of his leg here. Do I need to bring up the rule book here? Maybe I match up that with that. Ah, damn it. I know he's got something. I just don't know how to stop him at this stage. Maybe I have to have another look at this. Do I match these up? Ah, damn it. It, this is, I say, this is one of the big problems with the game. I think that it really, he ne they need to make a a more suitable way of making this work because some of this stuff is really strange, and some of it doesn't really make logical sense. It's actually, one of the problems I had with the Phoenix Wright series. Try and match these up. No, no. Damn it. Maybe that? No, I I don't know. I'm probably just going to have to let him through because I can't figure out a way to actually make this work. So that's pretty annoying. Uh, or I could just deny him, actually. I could just straight up deny him. That would work, too. Off you go. I guess maybe you just do that. You would think, though, that if you had something like that, you would detain him. I guess you could just say, you know, tell him to leave, but yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Because, hell, if, you know, if it's a suicide bomb, I could just blow up this line of people. All right, he's going to be in transit, and that actually looks totally fine. So I need to speed up, actually, because I've... Oh, he, damn it. He was a smuggler, but he gave me some money, so I guess that's okay. I just let a smuggler in. He was collection. Oh, well, I had some cash, so you know, I'll take that, definitely. I could use the cash, quite frankly, so maybe that makes up for it. All right, you will be emigrating. Okay, issuing from Yerka City. Date of birth looks fine. What about height and weight? Hard to say. I don't think you... Yeah, it's not identified anywhere. Dorothy Bezik. All right, off you go. And I think... Is that it? Is that it for the day? Oh, damn it. She was Kelechian. Ah! I'm just dreadful at this game. I'm letting so many people through here. I have a bunch, three citations already. I'm going to be losing money here. All right. Entering for work. All right. Chloe Evans. She'll be working in research. Staying for 12 weeks. That's three months. That's fine. Enter by. Everything looks good there. And she's Kelechian. Damn it. I've got a searcher. And what's annoying is as well that it's past six o'clock, so I don't even get paid for this. Ah. <laughs> this is a stressful game. Very, very stressful. All right. Kelechians must be searched. Sorry. You have been selected for a random search. Allow me to violate your privacy if you don't mind. It's a compelling game. It's a really cool concept. The investigation aspect is something that is not really done in most games. And as a result, I she's got a gun right there. She has a sodding gun <laughs> strapped to her back. Now, since I could be here all day, since I've run out of time, I might as well try and figure out how to detain her here. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> There's got to be something in the... Oh. Oh, there it is. Damn it. It was in that rule. Okay. I I knew it was going to be there somewhere, but let, let, me, let me just show you this. So, yeah, no weapons or contraband. That's where it came from. That was the rule. Okay, that makes sense now. You have a gun strapped to your back. I'm going to detain her for that. Needless to say, she will not be going anywhere with that. 
I will do my job well, and I will defend the nation. Okay, so she's been detained. That's always good. And I got bribed as well. I'm actually making money now, funnily enough. I let enough people through here, and they're at least they're not hungry this time. Bribes are good. We should take more bribes, clearly. This game is really good. Surprisingly good. It's this kind of subject matter that isn't really approached all that much. It's a game that simultaneously manages to be fun and also make a point. It ties the story, the developing story, which you personally can affect, to the game mechanics very nicely. It forces you into a situation where it is in your best interest to let through as many people as possible, and yet if you do so and you aren't paying attention, you are penalized for it. So it adds a very nice element of tension into the game. The game's got a good sense of humor. The game's writing's pretty cool as well. Overall, this is a game you should try. Try? Let's try again. Try! <laughs> Sorry, I was speaking Kalachi in there for a second. You should try it. It's currently in beta and it's free right now. There was no reason for you not to try this game out. It is actually really fun and one of those rare games that can be simultaneously fun and also make a really, really cool point. So there you go, folks. A look at this particular title, which is called Papers, Please. The link to download is in the description below this video. My name has been Total Biscuit. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.